Hey everyone, this is just a, a really quick video on uh, doing a factory restore. I have an HP Pavilion TouchSmart 15 sleep book. Now the problem I have is I did make the factory reset, the USB drive, but for months I couldn't find it because I didn't put it back exactly where I should have. So I had installed Windows 10 on this and uh, it seemed to be okay, but you know sometimes computers slow down anyway. The two points I want to make is I'm not going to walk you through the whole process of going to the BIOS, the factor reset, because this takes most of the day. And if you know anything about BIOS, your menus are going to be different looking than mine. But here's the two things um, that if you're not familiar with doing resets, legacy devices and security is this. Now, I did go to HP.com and I will post the link so that you can see it here. It gives some general directions factory reset and the problem I had is I installed my USB drive uh, chose to do the restore however the laptop just kept cycling back through to the same menu because of the reason that legacy support was not enabled and all that means is that in the BIOS you have to go in and tell the computer to recognize a USB drive and allow it access allow it to work on the system now the point that I also also um, want to make as well is that the directions online were really good. However, BIOS menus do look a little bit different. So the two things you want to remember, one, you may need to enable legacy support. So if you're doing a search, remember that. The second thing is that when you're on the HP website or any website for that matter, is just keep in mind that the BIOS may, menus may not look exactly like what your computer has. So I had to hunt through mine. I did find it, enable it. And now my particular laptop, which it did state online, once it rebooted, it says enter this code, then press enter to accept the changes, which is what I had to do. And so remember, keep in mind the two things, legacy support for the USB and the fact that your BIOS menus are going to look different now if you're not comfortable with going to bios you really don't want to go in there all get someone who's computer savvy to help you out it's not very complex so i hope you like this particular short video uh again thank you for watching mark and main feel free to like comment subscribe and share